Hi guys, this is me, Mimi. I'm back for Mimi of the Beat, and I'm here to, you know, show you what I have gotten when it comes to beauty, body care products. So recently, um, actually, it's so interesting that I'm doing this video because the same company is actually having a sample sale online. Um, probably sometime next week on 26 sample sale and recently I saw that they did a collaboration with the nail company um, which is um, Kiss and I have recently decided to get some nails because spring is coming in and I got some nails one I'm gonna wear for um, a trip in July and then the other ones I'm just gonna be wearing in the spring and I do wear a lot of pink so these colors will go very well so I only was able to pick up two I really wanted a white and a blue but um, that one sold out so I got the impressed love shack fancy limited edition nails um, I don't know if they are still on the website um, but the white and blue one has sold out. They do not have that anymore. And I decided to get these for springtime. And these look really, really nice. Um, press on nails. Um, I don't know when I'm going to wear them. One I did open just to look at. And I'm going to just open them real quick so you can see. Um, this one is like a stick on. So as you can see, it comes with um, this pad just to prep your nails and stuff. And then these are the nails right here. And this is how they look. Like there's a little bit of a glare because of the plastic. Um, let me see if I can take them off of the plastic. I haven't opened them like fully, but this is how they look. As you can see, they have this little like tape right there, which is like the sticky part. Let me give you a closer look. And then this is how it will look. And these nails are not really that pointy. I probably need to foul them a little bit because they are a little bit bigger than my actual thumb. So you gotta foul them down to fit. But it's like really, really pretty. Very, very cute. And I can't wait to wear these um, sometime. And they have like two thumbs. Um, you know, they have four in them. Like sometimes I use this as a thumb too. Because this size is just a lot smaller than the thumb size. And then they have like the ones that have like a little bit of glitter on it. Um, let me see if I could grab a glitter one. So this is one that's just like a lot of glitter and I think these are like two sets so you could mix and match if you want which is what I will probably um do so yeah so I got this one and I got this one from Love Shack Fancy um there's a day on the trip where I'm gonna be wearing just all white and I got this one also which is uh, more of a stick on one as well so I'm hoping I don't lose any of these and the price wasn't um, that bad but these are really pretty for you know an all white outfit I feel these are like really really nice and I think everything came out to like I think $30 for them so they was like $10 each and I got like three so that's like thirty dollars and these are all like limited edition and all you have to do is go to the impressed love shack face i mean website go to the impress press on nails website and um all these pairs of nails will show up i really wish i would have gotten the white and the blue i have been going by periodically to see if the white and the blue one pops 
up but um, I'm okay with this because in the spring I do wear a lot of um, pink so it's not a big deal to um, have gotten mostly pink I also got another pair of nails like a while back that I was gonna wear for my um, birthday that I didn't wear and I think these are white and silver and these come with the glue and I just went to the regular store and got these um, I actually have to get a better glue though because the glue that comes with it wasn't really that good so I'm definitely gonna get a better glue so I haven't decided which one I'm gonna wear yet when it comes to that of um, me wearing all white but um, when I make the decision I would let you know okay another thing that I have gotten that is more like a beauty item um, is this right here is an African butter um, rituals product and it's from before Domes, which is a new line. Um, right now, I am using the soap and I am using the um, body butter, which is core Nigerian lemongrass South African prim primrose. Um, this smells okay, but you mostly smell a lot of the lemongrass in this scent. I'm just gonna show you how the soap bar looks and it's like a detox um, soap bar. I like it, I feel like it's really good um, soap bar, so far, and it really does um, cleanse you and it gets foamy and it's amazing. And once you're out of the shower, after using that bar, um, your skin is very moisturized. So I do like this um, black, Tox um, soap. I got this for someone else, and I got another um, body butter, um, Moroccan and Egyptian chamomile. I wonder how this smells, but I'm not sure because I'm giving that to someone else. Um, this is a line that is brand new and it is black owned. Um, they actually are selling this in Nordstrom, but I decided to just go to the website to try out their stuff. Um, their products is really good. I really do like it. It's very moisturizing. It smells amazing. The only thing I don't like about it is I don't like the fact that the butters come into this container. I really wish it came more into like a tin container. Like, I understand why she picked, like, this tin type of material for the butter, because this supposedly protects the butter a lot better, but I just don't like how it's, like, you gotta squeeze it out like a toothpaste. Um, I would prefer the um, butter to be in a tin. Another thing that I don't like is that the amount of how much butter comes in this product I feel like if it's more of a circle shaped tin it'd be like a little bit more um, I try to use this sparely but when I do use it I do put it over my body and I feel like the amount that comes in here it's only good for like three weeks because I'm about to buy another and I've been rotating between this butter and the store brand butter um, just because this wasn't enough like I really want a body butter that's just going to last me a month and this is not gonna last you a month and for the price you would think it would be more in here and I thought this would be a lot bigger and it's not so that's my only like suggestion and the price is kind of like up there um, I don't remember how much I paid for everything but none of this stuff was um, cheap it was um, you know when you pay for good quality stuff you know it's not going to be cheap and I think also um, Oprah 
uses this line and I could totally understand Oprah buying this stuff over and over again she got the money but um, for an average person to buy this butter like again and again and again after like it's done after probably like three weeks or I think yeah three weeks not even going past a month um, usually when I get something that's pretty up there I like it to last me when the price is up there I like it to last me at least two months this only lasts you a month um, or less than that especially if you're using the product every day I wasn't using this product every day because of how much didn't come in here I was actually using another I got another small tube of another lotion that's um, store brand name and was like rotating um, but if I didn't get that and I was just constantly using this this would be gone it would be done okay and I'm gonna open this one just to show you how much um, I don't want to mess this up how much comes it looks regular so this is just a regular and it's not it's not a lot at all and that's the one that I'm giving to someone um, I also got this which is a get up and go discovery set I don't know that much about the line and what it sells and all that stuff so I wanted to like buy like a set that was kind of showing me what stuff they have to be honest with you I might save this set because um, it is like mini size stuff in here which I kind of like when it comes to travel so I'm thinking about putting this set to the side but this set comes with like one two three four products so I got a glow body oil which is something that I'm probably going to be using after the lotion is over I got another um, butter I think this is the same scent yes uh, the oh this is an Egyptian lavender and Moroccan mint so I will use this after um, I'm done with that lotion the other lotion and then this right here is a very small body melt so this you use in the shower and it's supposed to like melt um i don't know how this looks okay so this is how it looks it doesn't really smell like anything um but yeah i love i love the packaging but this is really tiny too but like i said this is like a try this is more like a travel set honestly because all this stuff is like so tiny you could probably travel with this so yeah and then this right here is the Moroccan body mask which smells really good if anything that smells really good and I don't even know the scent to that but it does also smell like kind of like um menthol type of smell like Ben Gayish a little bit um back of the box it shows you like everything um and what it's for and all this stuff like that um so this is supposed to travel deep inside the layers of your skin to awaken the beauty within Evoking strength of Egyptian um, oil and um, a heavenly combination of Nigerian Moroccan rose heap and Aragon oil. Finished with a radiant glow, formal notes of Egyptian jasmine dance with um, other citrus um, in this body oil. Um, this is not exactly what <laughs> I'm not really reading the box that much um, honestly it says you just put a generous amount um, into your skin after a 
shower for ultimate hydration massage until fully absorbed um we'll see how this is um this smells like it's gonna smell really good okay what i do like about this is that it seems like all the products are like natural nothing is really artificial she's telling you what oils are in every single product you know and then when you look at the list of ingredients in the product everything is like an oil and oil oil it's not anything that's like very difficult for you to pronounce and it seems like nothing in her products are artificial which is um great everything is like a oil flower oil seed oil shea butter oil um yeah so so far so good i'm not gonna say that you know it didn't moisturize me it did especially this um detox soap this detox soap was absolutely amazing um we'll see how it is i like i said i haven't tried every single product and i haven't tried every single product in this um discovery set also um but i could see myself buying this for my vacation again if i do go well i am going on vacation in july but um i really got used to the brazilian bum bum stuff when i'm on vacation and i think i'm gonna go with that but if you want to be um if you want to use like a product that doesn't have a lot of ingredients in it and everything is natural um, it has eucalyptus oils it's in tea tree oil you know, olive oil all that stuff sh cocoa shea butter sweet almond oil seed oil if you want to use something that's very natural and you want your scent to really come from perfumes and not really a lot of uh, you don't want a lot of artificial stuff on your skin um, I would go with this set and buy it for like travel because it does come with a lotion it comes with a body oil it comes with a shower melt and it doesn't come with a soap so you probably will have to buy the soap and bring it with you on your trip but it comes with um, a lot of stuff so you can you know um, always do daily cleaning every day <laughs> it comes with a lot this discovery set that I would use for travel and then they're so tiny there's no way the empty the you know I was about to say <laughs> MTA but there's no way that the T TA people are going to stop you when you are bringing products like this that are just super small and is in their zone, you know? So, yeah. Um, I'm going to keep the box just because when I do use the products, I do want to read about it and know what's in it, um, which I think everyone should do, especially if it's a new product that you're using. But so far, so good. The only complaint that I have is that I wish it had more um, product in it. And I wish she used like a aluminum tin round container instead of this one. Because I hate pushing stuff out for some reason. I don't know why. I just don't um, like it that much. But um, other than that, it's pretty good. The scent is amazing. The soap type so really moisturize your skin and um, the body butters are really good also um, I and the, the hopefully the person that I buy this for really likes it they really like more natural type stuff and recently they've been telling me they're taking a lot of showers and everything and they really um, love that so you know 
hopefully they like their lotion and their soap. I know for sure they're gonna like the soap. I'm not sure about the lotion, but um, I would love to smell the scent of their lotion, but I'm gonna keep it closed for them to do that. So, yeah. And that's it when it comes to um, new things in, in the beauty and skincare didn't really have that much to show you um, but please go to Nordstrom or their website and try 54 um, thorns and you know check it out for yourself like I said it's a black owned business and um, the fact that they got to Nordstrom is really showing and singing that you know this is a product that is for our skin and a lot of women are using it and wearing it and that wears you know a company to be wrecked with and if they're in Nordstrom pretty sure they're gonna be probably in Sephora soon or in other places if you order from the website I ordered on a time where a lot of people was getting an income tax and it did take a while for me to um, get this product in the mail but um, it didn't take that long it was probably like I thought I would probably get it in a week instead it came in like two weeks and I think that's just because there was probably an application um, or um, it was because a lot of people was ordering around the time I ordered this um, it wasn't a big deal because when it came you know like I said I fell in love with the t detox soap the detox soap don't really smell like anything but it does moisturize your skin very well and um, and I just used the lotion so I can't wait to um, use the products in the discovery kit and I think even if I was to bring this with me, um, I would probably buy the Discovery Kit again just to have in my travel box for a future travel so I don't have to, you know, buy stuff for me more. So, yeah. That's it. Um, I decided to take a day off today because... I just needed some time to get some stuff and run some errands and I also need some time to um, just relax and catch up on my studies and really really you know think about like what I'm doing and what I need to focus more on so I'm definitely going to be studying it today I'm going to be picking up all my stuff in my errands um, I think I'm also going to try to do an exercise class today because I feel like I really need it and um, I really need to do some scratching with my back and I think I'm also yeah I think that's it for today I'm gonna do another video if you haven't seen my review of the coach road bag um, please check out this next video because I'm gonna be doing a comparison between that bag and my field tote and you'll be able to see more of a comparison between those two bags okay all right bye please give me a thumbs up please subscribe I know I'm probably like uh, a little out of it in this video is because I'm just so tired okay but hopefully me taking the day off today I could kind of like rest and I'll be better um, in the next video all right